On the 23rd day of Christmas, Santa's house was gone, and most of the experienced kits were missing. They'd been using the parts to load the house onto the dropship, and was on their way to Earth with Santa's house, thinking that no matter what, that's where they would be living. Raven called upon all the older helpers, and ran to the dropship as fast as she could. She managed to get inside, together with Craig and Toby and Rosie, before the kids would close the hatch. Miss Box called them up and yelled into the phone that if they were brave enough to fly the dropship straight into the blizzard, she had an idea about what could be done next. The kids lost control of the dropship, and Raven took over. Not able to see a thing, she double-checked with Miss Box to make sure that she knew what she was doing. The blizzard was as thick as rice pudding, and the only way to steer through it was by trusting in a set of simple coordinates. Miss Box said she knew the country, and that the location was close to water, but not very much more. She promised, though, that wherever it was, there'd be room for the house, and that supposedly people were nice there. That's good, said Raven. Let's also hope that they're nice after having seen our dropship. But it turned out that the visibility was so low and the wind so noisy that only a close neighbor would have noticed the dropship that couldn't land because it was designed to do nothing more than break through the atmosphere. Everybody get inside the house, Raven said to the kids. Lock all doors and windows. We'll lower you down using the parts and we'll come back using the 747. So, if the storm clears, be nice to your neighbors, and remember, you might have to live here.